let me tell you something about Outlaw that should give you a life lesson. Now, Outlaw is released, okay? There is a meta that has been circulating for about a while because of Fnatic, which is the... I think it's Fnatic. I don't know if it's them, but yeah. It's the meta of the economy. Just buying Light Shield and Rifling, uh, no matter lose or win, just so that you can have enough money. If they buy a Phantom, you're dead. If they buy a Vandal, you're already dead with one bullet. So, it doesn't matter. They just buy Light Shields. But... What made me think about this is that will Outlaw end this meta? Yes or no? And will this Outlaw sniper be as good as everybody is thinking it is? I know the hype is because it's new and something that we do not understand yet. But listen to me. Uh, it's like this. Put it like this. It's like an operator that can shoot two bullets in a row if you have light shield. So if you have light shield, it's like an up. One shot, bye bye. But this time we have an up that can shoot two in a row. All right. Now this is harder than an up if you have light shields. If you have, if you have uh, heavy shields, you can get shot through the body, and then like you can get shot, but then you know jump, hide, whatever. You know you you can counter this bullshit. But it's not like light shield. Light shield with insta death. So. What I want, what the lesson that I want to tell you here is the people take time to learn guns and learn metas. Now the gun is just released. Millions of people, thousands of people who play the game don't really understand fully how to use a gun or when to use a gun or how to adjust their play style. How do they do it? They do it from trial and error trial and error so you a lot of people i see in ranked are using outlaws but not like everybody knows how to play it i can dodge that shit i, I have killed many of them it's meh. i mean not that hard but i believe is it depends on trial and error you have to try and and you know make errors and everything and then you will succeed and have a play style that's really difficult to play against so this is what i'm saying what i'm saying is to learn game sense in the game to learn whatever in the game you have to play a lot lose win lose 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 win lose win lose win try and and move like if you're playing uh, ascent for example you you're fighting b every single time don't fight b just go back play back side go back play market go back play by the door handle play like let's do it like this trial and error is the best thing that is in life i have taught on an academic level in university and they actually gave me a module that's called um, it's called research methodology and while i was teaching research methodology i had to teach how to search and what are the what can i say what are the most trustworthy or most scientific papers, most scientific journals, uh, search engines and libraries that you could search in. But then, before teaching how to search, we should teach what are the wrong methods or what are the alternative science, the alternative methods that are not scientific. So the alternative methods that are not scientific are actually, amongst them, there's trial and error. Somebody tried something. It didn't work. Then he tried it another way. It didn't work. Then he tried it a different way. Then he tweaked something else and tweaked something else and tweaked something And it fucking worked. Well, see what I'm saying? Trial and error is the best, not the best, well, amongst the best teachers in the world. Summary. Outlaw. Not that good of a sniper, but it's just now. So time will tell. Whether it will be very good in the higher ranks or shit in the higher ranks, better in the lower ranks or shit in the lower ranks. We will see. This was your brainy. Peace out.